This is the ultimate in remote mining, and it depends on a single road for all of its equipment, spares and heavy goods. The winter road is an engineering feat. The biggest challenge, there's no doubt, is logistics, weather. Uh, we, have a, we have an ice road which supplies the, the mine on, a, uh, on an annual basis. We open for about six to eight weeks. And during that time, we have to get everything up. So uh, you're dealing with temperatures down in the minus 40s, which would obviously bring its own, own challenges. The 500 kilometer iced road is operational between February and March, when the ice is at its thickest. It's rebuilt every year using GPS coordinates and will melt away in the spring and early summer. Now we'll use 30 inches thick for an opening weight and we'll come up to about 39 inches for what we call legal road weight. So this is what you'd see for a typical uh, highway truck. Anything over 39 inches is, is just money in the bank for us. It's just good contingent safety buffer. Uh, typically around the end of the season we'll see in excess of 60 inches of ice or 5 feet, uh, which is a lot of ice and, and takes a significant amount of time before it thaws. The road is monitored by security staff and the 25 km per hour speed limit is strictly enforced. The speed also means that truck drivers need to rest regularly. Typically uh, last year as an example we would have shipped uh, every, um, every half hour uh, booking on the winter road. Uh, there would have been between four and five trucks going every half hour, 24 hours a day. The logistics involved in putting a mine like this on the map and getting it to run is significant. Consider that it takes just 45 minutes to come here by plane if you're a worker. If you're bringing cargo up, it's going to take you at least 24 hours. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV at Gatakui in Canada.